G'day. I just wanted to show you some um, some tips and tricks on how to set up alternate profiles um, or maybe even move your um, activism or um, outreach for whatever you find interesting to uh, a whole new level on um, online. Um, there's a site here that you'll see called Alternative 2. You can type in here Alternative 2 anything you like and you'll be able to find an alternative. For example, you want to find an alternative to Twitter, which I'm sure a lot of people would. Uh, there are alternatives to Twitter, and you can go through here and you can investigate them on your own. Gab AI, um, Mastodon, Minds. Minds is a social networking thing. Uh, there's screenshots, etc., that you can have a look at. Um, so alternative two is a good place to start. So for example, Gmail, you want to get rid of your Google account because Google knows all too, altogether too much about every single person on the planet. Best place to go, ProtonMail. ProtonMail is in um, Switzerland. Uh, I think, yeah, Swiss-based ProtonMail is incorporated in Switzerland. Um, so you can hide your money in it as well, I suppose, I don't know. But uh, uh, the Proton Mail, you don't have to spend money on it. You can uh, get to the point of signing up and get a free account. Uh, when you're signing into things, never give them your credit card details because most of them forget to stop charging you. Um, it's one of those things, I guess, that uh, once you're signed up and they've got your credit card details, you're at their mercy. So there's an alternative to um, uh, to Gmail, it's ProtonMail if you just want email. Uh, and there's a whole heap of other ones here. I wouldn't use that one. Um, that's giving more power to Microsoft. We don't want to do that. Yandex is Chinese, Microsoft Outlook, no thank you, Fastmail. There's lots of them that you can use. So alternative two, excellent spot to start. Uh, let's see, we want an alternative to Microsoft Edge. Microsoft Edge. There are many, many uh, alternatives. Microsoft Edge, owned by Bill Gates, somebody I don't trust. Brave is uh, based on, uh, it's based on um, Google Chrome, um, with the security changed so that you don't get tracked. Uh, and Mozilla Firefox, you can also set it up. When you set it up, it asks you the security questions and you tell it you don't want to be tracked. Google Chrome tracks you like crazy. I wouldn't be using that. Vivaldi, um, Tor Browser. Tor Browser is probably the, probably the most secure browser. Uh, however, it's also a browser that the hackers use to get it on the dark web. Um, Opera, uh, very good. Chromium is... Uh, Google Chrome with some of the tracking stuff removed. Uh, Pale Moon, Firefox Developer Edition, I'd avoid that. Safari, also avoid that. That gives more power to Apple. So this is alternative2.net. We're still here. Let's have a look at what else we can find as an alternative. So we want an alternative to Facebook. Altogether too much power, Facebook. Mines. Possibly. Uh, MeWe is the one that I use. Um, Diaspora is another social networking thing. Mastodon. Um, Gab. Gab is um, uh, has absolutely no censorship, so it, it may be a little bit rough for some people. Uh, Twitter. Definitely don't go to Twitter. Uh, GNU social networking. Hubzilla. There's a whole heap. Um, a lot of Christians and conservatives I know are going over to me and we, sorry, me, we, um, and USA Life, I think is the other one. Uh, so the next one to have a look at would be an alternative to YouTube. Since, uh, since it was purchased by Google, that gives them another arm to um, track your movements and your interests. Um, so PeerTube is... Um, one that I haven't looked at, I can't vouch for it. Um, the votes on this is 167. BitChute is one that I use. Uh, Vimeo, Vimeo, uh, you can get a free account and it's um, really crappy quality video. Um, but um, uh, you can have a, 
a paid account and they will censor you like YouTube does. Uh, BitChute is one where it's um, uh, pretty much anything goes. Uh, they do have rules, of course, but um, they are not likely to take down something because it goes against their political agenda like YouTube does. Uh, new pipe. So here we are at Alternative 2. With, there's plenty of alternatives to YouTube. Uh, the one that you want, of course, is the one that's not going to take down your content. Um, so uh, an alternative to Google Drive. So you got um, P Cloud, Next Cloud, Dropbox. Um, when you go to Dropbox, it says uh, it's freemium. You can get a free account and gives you two gig. Remember what I said: don't give anyone your, your credit card details. Mega uh, Dell Technologies Cloud. I don't think that's one of them. I think that's an advertisement. Uh, own Cloud. Um, own Cloud. Is a safe for all your data. Um, okay, the um, own cloud started as as far as I know as a um, um, a turnkey Linux uh, project. Turnkey Linux, so T U R N K E Y, and then L I N U X. Um, is another place if you're a, a tech person and you want to go and get some. Um, prepared um, servers, that's a place you can go and get them. Um, or if you just like playing with virtual machines. Um, okay, so Google Photos. Alternatives to Google Photos so that they don't own your stuff. Digicam, Flickr, Shotwell. Shotwell's a Linux based stuff. Um, I'm a Linux user and um, uh, believe that uh, the GNU prophecy, uh, the uh, GNU uh, ethos is um, a good one, where um, everyone can um, contribute to something while still owning their own intellectual property. Um, simple gallery. What you're looking for in here is free, open source, um, and many platforms. So you've got Mac, Windows, Linux, Android, iPhone. Um, Apple Photos, I wouldn't be giving them that. When uh, somebody gets into trouble and um, the news wants a photo of them, you know what they do. They just go and buy a photo from either Facebook or Google or uh, the Mac, uh, what is it, um, Apple or um, Microsoft, because once you give them your photos, they own them, read the fine print. Um, so if you don't want your photos appearing your photo of you appearing on the news uh, don't give it to apple um, microsoft facebook google twitter don't give them photos every time you take a photo and upload it to the cloud they own it not you okay so alternatives what else have we got uh, i think that's probably going to cover it for now uh, but um, you can Create accounts probably by first starting with your email. Um, go and create an account that doesn't have to be linked to you at all. Um, you can create an account as long as you remember where it is um, on Proton Mail or somewhere like that. You put in the name that you want um, and set up the password um, and fill in the details that they ask. You don't have to put in uh, any of your real contact data. You'll be warned that um, if, if you don't put in any recovery data, you'll be warned that your account will not be able to be recovered if you um, lose your information. Okay, that's fine with me. But the, the creating of the email is probably the first step to changing your identity online um, and then finding all these places that are not going to take ownership of your photos or your documents. Um, and are not going to censor you in any way. So um, online activism is something that we can all do um, and voting with our feet um, by not allowing um, Facebook, Google or Apple to track us um, and going into the settings is something that we should all be doing. 
Um, they've got altogether too much power, and I think it's a disgrace that um, um, they're able to um, control the the uh, information feed that everybody gets. My name's Greg. Thanks for watching.